I'm standing on Highway 20, just south of the village of Craven. Just to my right is where the popular Country Thunder Music Festival takes place. And as you can see behind me, there are a number of crumpled train cars and lots of crews on scene cleaning up the crash site. The derailment happened last night just before 9.30 p.m. Now, earlier today, we spoke to some bystanders who came across the crash scene. Here's what they told us. When I counted, there was at least 20 train cars that were piled on top of each other. And in a few spots, there was they were like, you know, two stacked on top of each other. And then there was like one spot where there was three and then one like train car that was stood like, completely on end. Like, so they really, I imagine when that happened, it probably was quite loud. CP Rail has confirmed that this train was carrying potash. You can see the Can Patex logo on at least one of the train cars. And of course, there's plenty of the pinkish orange substance in piles around the site. We're told no one was hurt and there's no danger to the public at this time. Craven Mayor Scott Montgomery was one of the first people on scene. Basically what I saw is a whole bunch of train cars just kind of crumpled in an accordion. Luckily it was just potash. That was the biggest thing too. It could have been a hazard. It's good they were hauling too at the same time. But yeah, no, there's, to see the damage and the carnage was just insane. The derailment blocked Highway 20 heading north into Craven. Village officials were advising people to take alternate routes. It's not clear yet what caused the derailment. CP says that's currently under investigation. Brian Rogers, CBC News, Craven.